hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make easy and affordable lunch and dinner meals now before i show you how to make these meals don't forget to like comment below what you'd like to see next and subscribe to my channel thank you so much now oil rice is the most easiest easiest food you can do and you don't need a lot you don't need a lot you just need about three things and that's like onions and then you need some rice um and then you need some water and then, of course some water and then some oil okay so i'm going to be showing you how to do it you can add your own twist to this yeah but i'm just going to show you the basic like into getting there <laughs> To get the basic flow she's going to measure how many oil you need now this milk milk for one so um if you're going to do this for the family you might need a bit more um milk, a bit more rice and a bit more water on here okay and now if you're not confident yeah cooking rice rice on the stove what you could do i'll show you what you can do Basically, this is about making your life easier so, <laughs> and it's easy as well. So, the oil in here is already hot, I believe. I think yeah, it is. Good. Ignore my crafting skills. Look, I'm not a chef, so don't judge me on that. Anyway, so you gotta let it like fry up. You my steak, you gotta let it fry up. So it's a golden brown. Now, if you want this the pan, one tip as well, if you want the pan to heat up quicker, what you do is I want to advise you to do this, but you put on high heat and then, yeah, you put on high heat basically, and then after that, you would um, lower the glass and then it would um, be really hot. But the thing that I want, the reason why I would advise is because. Um, Sometimes you do forget it's on a high heat and then <laughs> basically you're going to just burn everything. So we just say just stick it to medium heat and then um, when it's ready to be hot, you just go with it. Um, okay, so I've got my onions in here. Just let it brown a little bit and then you're going to put the rice in there and some salt. And then you're gonna put your water in it. That's just simple as that. But if you want to, if you're not really confident in cooking on here, you're gonna transfer everything here into the um, rice cook, and then just add the rice and the water in there, and then just and some salt. Don't forget salt, and then it will just cook perfectly. But I'm gonna do this on the stove. Like I'm gonna give this a go. It's not like I'm not good at it, but. Let's just pretend I'm not. So I'm just gonna give this a go, and hopefully, finger cross, it comes as good. <laughs> okay, now our onions are ready. I'm just gonna add in the rice. Now I've got one cup of rice here. Now this is optional. You can either wash your rice or not wash your rice. It's up to you. But my rice is washed, and I'm gonna put it in here basically just dump it all we don't have to be fancy here just just stick it all in there just just dump it okay we've got it at 300 so we're gonna pour the water in straight in and then you're gonna add your salt to it what if you're not really confident with putting salt in your food what i would say is just put it little by little and mix it and taste it otherwise i can do it because if you go ahead and try to be a chef and you just put in a whole spoon, it might be tasting horrible, horrible food. Okay, so I've got my stuff here. So what we're going to do a bit more, and then you go dump it. <laughs> if you put too much salt in this, what you do is just basically add a bit more rice to it. And then add a bit more water to it. It's simple as that, really. Okay, this tastes great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, find a cover somewhere. Okay, cover it up, and then just keep it on the medium, medium heat. 
you don't want to burn it. <laughs> um, so keep it on medium heat and then just keep an eye on it. So I decided to add some frozen vegetables to my one because I like to eat my one just by itself as a Friday. But um, if you can, you can put anything in it really. It's just um, anything you want to put in there. Or you can just have um, anything with this pot. You can have egg on the side or you can just decide to have it just by itself. Or you can have any sauce on the side, a hot sauce. Normally you have this with a hot sauce on there. But, um, but you see I don't I don't like hot stuff so I would have something like this but I would say my sister will have something hot on here or my mom will have something hot I don't actually she's in between sometimes she likes hot sometimes she doesn't but yeah the rest of the family will have something hot but I would normally have this just like it is now this is a little bit I took a little bit portion from actually one rice this is not all that you see in and I'll show you. I've got more in here, a bit more in here. Okay, so don't worry. This is not one cup. Probably, I don't know what a cup this is, but um, yeah. My mom will kill me if she see me using a fork to do this. She's like, you're gonna destroy my pants. So I'm just gonna take this out. So gonna. Basically, we're gonna cook this until it's um, golden brown. Oh my god, it smells amazing! So, um, now for the seasoning for the chicken, I used um, this one. This seasoning, if you don't know what seasoning to get, um, just get this one on the store. It's really good to use. Had a bit, a tiny bit of salt in here. And I had a bit of chili powder in here. I'm gonna literally go with that. I'm just gonna drop some onions on here. Basically. It's just like this is like one pan stuff. So if you had it if you added a little bit of oil, you can add a bit more now. But um I'm not gonna add any more because that was more than enough for me. Um so we're gonna put the lesson we're gonna put in here is some garlic powder. Now, as I said before, you can literally, if you don't have garlic powder and you've got actual garlic, you can just chop them into some cubes, you know, and then um, put it in there. I'm trying to put in my ginger. Ginger powder, come on, get in. See, I'm running out of ginger powder now. Little no, bit is fine. Use what you've got, basically. See? I think I just got lucky today, but um, it's usually not like this. <laughs> it's usually always on the floor or somewhere. Basically. Anyway, so you've got this. You're gonna add your vegetables to this. Um, some vegetables to it, and then so there we go. Add some veggies. Add your veggies to it. Veggies, but whatever veggies you've got, it's fresh ones, just cut them in here. Um, and I said this this is foundation, we're making a foundation here. It's a foundation, okay? Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to make different types of things. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if my veggies is enough or it's not enough, I'm not really sure basically. Now, I've got like um. Some recipe for a sauce you can go ahead and put it in there or you've got some sauce up your sleeve somewhere but why just normally do you just put it in a bit of water not a lot so less than 50 ml you just have to like see it really. so see how many sauces you see but a bit you know I don't want too much I just want a little bit to create a bit of like not make it too dry that's what I'm gonna do now Together and when I just taste the sauce. Tastes amazing. I'm just gonna add a bit of salt in here. Just let it rain a little bit of salt. <laughs> it's not a lot. Um, not a lot. It's probably a pinch. It's a little pinch. That's what the professional people say. Pinch. I just say salt. Just 
put a bit of salt in and let's mix it up. <laughs> mix it up, see if it's enough, if it's not enough. Um, if it's not enough, oh my god, you should check me out on these. Flipping shield. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe I should stop. Maybe I should stop before I dump everything on there. You, this is all optional, you know. This is all optional stuff. I'm adding optional things here. So I'll cover this. I don't have a cover for this, so use any cover you've got. And then I'm just gonna leave it for like two to three minutes or less than that. Depends. Um, I'm gonna leave it for less than that. So probably about two minutes. Of these chicken stir fry out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some rice to this one now okay so if you're a busy person and you want to like make like prep meals you can literally do this like how I did before just make a lot of chicken stir fry or beef stir fry or mushroom stir fry or vegetable stir fry the option is just goes up 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 and then you just I think you make the basic you just make different different kinds so I'm going to make this rice one. 